Hello, Rafi here. Ito na, tuturo ko na sa inyo ang voting methods. So first, pag voting methods, yan yung different types of methods na ginagamit sa voting. Kasi may kanya-kanyang voting methods na ginagamit sa different types of government or whether formal or informal yung nangyayaring election na nagkaganap. So sa Pilipinas, magkaiba yung voting methods sa US and so on. So, there are different types of voting methods. Doon tayo sa pinakamadali. First is the plurality method. So, basically, kapag sinabing plurality method, kukunin mo lang yung uh, candidate na may highest votes. So, let's say, sa loob ng pageant, meron tayong four candidates. Si candidate A, si candidate B, and si candidate C. Si candidate A got 150 votes. Si candidate B meron siyang 151. Si candidate C 153. And si candidate D meron siyang 149. So based on plurality method, masasabi natin na ang winner ay si candidate C. Bakit? Kasi siya yung may highest number of votes compared to other contestants. Pero hindi niya nakuha yung majority of the vote siya lang yung may pinakamataas na number. So, yun lang ang kailangan maalala para sa plurality method. Always look at kung sino yung may pinakamataas na vote. Therefore, siya ang panalo sa pageant. Gets? Okay, next. Hahanda ko muna. Wait. Ayan. So, naayos ko na yung next part ng plurality method, which is yung what happens when you want to know yung minimum votes needed to win. So, in this example, meron tayong tatlong candidates. Disclaimer ha, this is for example purposes only. Hindi siya totoo or something. So, for example, si Duterte, meron siyang 38 voters. Si Rojas, merong 18 voters. Si Poe, uh, meron siyang 14 voters. And in total, kapag inad mo lahat ng voters na yan, merong 70 na nakaboto na. But, we have 100 voters in total. So, ano nangyari dun sa 30? Hindi pa nare-record yung kanilang votes. So, meron tayong remaining 30 voters na pwedeng ma-distribute sa kanila. So, it could be na yung 30 mapunta kay Duterte and he wins. Pwedeng mapunta lahat kay Rojas. Pwedeng mapunta kay Po. Pero, this is only yung probability ng pwedeng mangyari. So, ang tanong dyan, ilang minimum votes ang kailangan ni Duterte para manalo. So, ito yung itsura ng kanyang computation. Ayun. Sorry, paputol-puto. Going back, yung magiging formula natin for, hindi pala formula, equation is 38 plus x equals 18 30 minus x. So, bakit ganyan yung itsura? 38 galing sa voters ni Duterte. Plus x, kasi kailangan natin malaman alin yung minimum votes na makukuha niya para manalo. 18 is from yung kay Rojas. 30 minus x, kasi kailangan natin bawasan yung 30 para malaman alin yung minimum number of votes na kailangan ni Duterte. So, typical math algebraic expression na kailangan isimplify. First is, tatanggalin muna natin yung parenthesis. And, magiging 18 plus 30 minus x. So, simplify again. 38 plus x equals 18 plus 30 equals 48 minus x. And, dahil ganyan na siya, all you have to do is transpose. So, yung x malilipat dito and yung 38 malilipat dito sa kabila. So, the magiging x plus x equals 48 minus 38. Okay? So, x plus x equals 2x equals 48 minus 38 equals 10. So, simplify. Cancel out 2 divided by 2 dapat yan. So, 2, 2. X 
is equal to 5. So, para manalo si Duterte, he needs only 5 votes more to win the election. So, that's how you solve for your minimum votes needed to win. Yeah. 38 plus 5 equals 18 plus 30 minus 5. That's your, that's plurality method for you. One pa lang yan, ah.